For those who might not be familiar with the runs I do, today we find out if I can beat all Remembrance bosses with dagger class weapons only. I will be unable to wear any armor, clothing type attire only, no shields at all because they're gross. Now, Elden Ring has a bit more spice than the Souls games, so I'll just add this too. Ashes of War and weapon skills I will use when needed. Um, and Spirit Ashes must use daggers as well, so that's basically just Mimic and Tish. Tish? Whatever. Um, but I'll always prefer go summonless where possible. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knight, oh, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Okay, never beaten this guy before. I got it this time. Wait. W what? Did that piece of shit just fucking scream me into oblivion? Fortune is on her side. And it turned out that that was a lie. Ah, the first true boss. And as is tradition, I have to do something stupid. And now we can begin the game. Foul tarnished. In search of the elder. by the flame of ambition. And here we go, your first rough as guts boss. Um, not much to say, just don't get hit by him. <laughs> it's just, it's all about remembering his moves. And as you'll see, I am clearly a professional and I will no hit this entire fight.
Alright, gotta duck off and grab a cheeky bleed weapon. Get that Reduvia. Alright, now with that Chud Weasel out of the way, we're on to the next boss. Strategy remains the same. Just heaps don't get hit, and hit him heaps more. Works 60% of the time every time. Alright, time for Spooky School to go kill Radigan's dog. Now, the real thing here is, just try and proc bleed. Apparently dogs are weak to bleeding to death. Alright, now that we've murdered a puppy, it's time to go kill a classroom full of students. Oh my fucking god, how dark is this game? Alright, so, there's no real strategy here for the first phase. Just bring Egg Lady down and then just kill the hell out of her. Second phase is a different story though. Um, I'm not sure how to deal with it because any time I've ever versed her, like I just killed her really quickly in second phase. But uh, this kind of, you know, just uh, stab her a bit and um, yeah. Yep, that counts. Alright, now, gotta go grab my last essential stabber.
So I heard word there was a party happening out in these dunes. No, there's just some prick shooting arrows in my eyes. As revenge, I just got right up in his business and stabbed his horse to death. Standard, exactly what you'd expect of this game. Murder a guy's horse until he dies. Alright kids, time to simp for Rani. Oh, it's me. I'll fight me fair and square. Oh, nope. Stun lock. Okay, you little piece of shit. Got a plan now. Strategy goes like this. I'm just gonna stab you until you're dead. Now this was unexpected. So I kept losing to this piece of trash because the amount of damage I can do versus how quickly it replenishes all its health just it was not adding up and that sucked. So decided to get him about halfway and then I found a friend to sort out the rest of him. Ah yes, the Lake of Rot, because Caleb wasn't bad enough. I 
Okay, so hear me out. The Estelle bosses are possibly the coolest uh, boss design FromSoft have ever done. In saying that, for some reason this particular fight, I just basically face tank the entire fight, so uh, just watch me uh, use all my crimson flasks. I'll, I'll make it up to you. Trust. Trust. Time for some uh, capital action. Now, Gold Shade Godfrey, I had no idea how to fight Godfrey, so um, there's that. But this was a warm up. Trust. I'll get Godfrey. I'll get that piece of shit. Good! Wait a minute, didn't I already kill you twice, technically? All the same, I'm gonna do it again. And uh, this time I'm getting in the zone. Really in the zone. Honestly though, this fight is pretty much exactly like um, fighting Margaret. It's purely about just learn the moves, dodge, find your opportunities, and just neck. There's not a whole lot of health on this little bitch, so uh, just stab away and have fun. Alright, let's see how Rykard goes without the gimmick weapon. Mm, no. I'll come back to you. Fire Giant, this trash can of an enemy. Um, I just found that he constantly would one-shot me out of nowhere, um, so I brought a distraction along. 
first phase is pretty straightforward. You just chop at his ankle till he pulls his leg off. Um, second phase is pretty much the same thing, it's just a matter of um, dodging his fire attacks while chopping at that ankle, the other ankle. And yeah, that's it. Alright, Fia's champs. NPC fights. Yay. They're very enjoyable. Uh, Tish, you, you handle them. I'm gonna go make a coffee. Alright, Fortisax, super badass dragon. I have a rule with dragons though, they can all go to hell. When I have no reach, I'm bringing a friend. I'm gonna just uh, get Tish on the blower. Yeah, alright, I'm coming. Yeah, that's the voice Tish has in my head. Yep. Alrighty, let's try Rykard again. And I'm out. Ah yes, everyone's favorite Ornstein and Smo impersonators that are fucking awful at Ornstein and Smo impersonations. Um, not a whole lot to say here, um, just show utter, utter disrespect and contempt for this fight. Bring all the summons you want, fucking hack the game, fucking punch them in the throat. There's no rules here. Godskin duo sucks and they should be treated accordingly.
Alright, alright. I can hear the booze from here. Yes, I brought Tish to Malaketh. But I cannot, for the life of me, get my head around his moveset. I just, like, walk face first into everything. Um, oddly enough, second phase I find easier. First phase, I just get smashed all the time. Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Foreboding statement. I spent a hot minute trying to figure out how this fight works and how to best work with a dagger. Um, what I found is parrying is impractical because I'm too bad at it. However, keeping at range for most of my attacks and then taking opportunities to jump in and give her a bit of a stab, that worked well. Uh, then it got to figuring out waterfowl. Um, I ended up finding a fantastic video on it, how to dodge it, I'll link down below. But um, yeah, once you dodge that waterfowl, phase one ain't too bad.
phase two, or as I like to call it, uh, use range or get murdered to death. Yep. First try! Ah oh, yeah! Stars of Darkness, the more badass underground space scorpion uh, ant lion. Yeah. I always have fun fighting this bloke. Um, this fight surely makes up for that sloppy fight against Natural Board, right?
Moog, Moog, Moog. Don't really know what happened here. Um, I just couldn't get a move in edgewise. I got frustrated and I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'll, I'll let Tish sort you out. And I'll just chop at you from a distance. And, uh, it worked. Nothing pretty. Nothing fantastic. But he did. And that's what matters. Rikard, you snaky bitch. Aside from Melania, this grubby Elapid took me the longest time to beat. Mostly because his design is perfectly shit for this build. My range attacks struggle to garner much impact at all. The lava breaks my poise every goddamn nanosecond. So I grabbed old mate Tish and just cracked on this jerk. Shit got real tense around here. No heels, stuck in lava, pinned against a wall, but he's nearly dead. So, it's time for a game of first to die losers. I did not losers. So, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. I may have forgot to record until the very moment the Placidus Axe died. Um, so, I've only got failed attempts footage. Um, but th the winning attempt that uh, you can't see, um, I definitely no-hit him. I did a backflip, called his mum a bitch. It was great. You, you should have seen it, but unfortunately I'm an idiot and I forgot to press record. Yeah, babe, that, was that believable? Godfrey, the real Godfrey. This bloke goes like a cut snake and hits like a brick shithouse, but once it clicks that there's a rhythm to his attacks, in the first phase at least, you just channel your inner Osu skill set, get your roll stab, roll, roll stab on. Easy peasy.
Second phase, though, I know how this part was designed. Miyazaki was like, Oi, B-Team, I know you're working on Dark Souls 2 Prepare to Uninstall Edition, but we need some hitboxes for these grapples. And they're all like, Oh yeah, no worries, boss. Anyway, these hitboxes scared me so good I just attacked from range. Worked well enough in the end though. Here we are, end of the road, and such a weird way to go out. I thoroughly enjoy both of these bosses, but I loathe the way they are a combined boss. This is the part they should have called the B team for. Treat this fight like the throne defender, throne watcher fight, where one boss fight goes into the next, but if you die to Nashandra, you go back and just fight Nashandra. That would have been so much better. Any, anyway, enough of me praising Dark Souls 2, I might start getting dislikes. To the fight at hand, based on how much damage I needed here and the fact that bleed, poison, etc. All means bugger all to these guys. I just went, got some keen infused blades, my girl Tish, and we just went to town.
And that's it. The end. Time for Fia's ending. Thank you all for making it this far. It was a blast coming back to Elden Ring, which sounds kind of weird given how new the game is, but whatever. Um, if you enjoyed this, I'd recommend dropping a like and then popping over to see my Dark Souls Dagger Only runs, much in the same vein. And if you're so inclined, feel free to reach out and recommend games and challenges that you'd like to see next. Uh, oh yeah, also subscribe or Justin will stop polishing his head. <laughs>